Aloha everyone, Andrew Annunciation here at King Asa with the Fitness Man 300 YouTube channel. Um, I'm here with James and Andrew. Andrew is uh, specialized in Tai Chi and also light therapy. And James here is a personal trainer. <laughs> I thought it was making sense. Look at this guy. But uh, he also specializes in marijuana. <clears throat> Correct. And so we're going to be talking about marijuana, terpenes, cacao. Oh, yeah. And uh, hopefully uh, that you all learned something today. So before we start, Andrew, do you mind giving us a quick introduction of who you are and what you do? Hey, my name is Andrew Brown. I'm a member of Martial Energetics and Chai Chi Tai Chi. So I'm going to be teaching uh, Tai Chi out of the Cali Remedies Wellness Center coming up soon. And I already teach a lot of classes for free all over town, so you can find those on meetup.com. Nice. Thank you. In San Diego. Yeah. Thank you. And James. Yes, yes. Please, uh, please give us a, yeah. a quick little uh, intro of who you are and what you specialize in. So I've been doing martial arts since I was, wow, four. Holy shit. <laughs> I think about that four. And then I switched over. So I was at a park with like a husband and wife, and it kind of was funny. And then I switched over to an actual studio when I was six to a, a Muda Kwan Fet organization, which has a style at the time called Tung Sudo, which is a Korean style. And then our organization switched to what currently is called Subak Do, so it's similar uh, but different. So I'm a third degree black belt. I should have been a master like seven years ago, but it all comes down to money. Uh, and I didn't have the money at the time to get certified, but I will get certified. I should technically be a fifth degree black belt. Yeah, fifth degree. It's okay. um, no, no, no. Anyway, so I, I do that. Uh, also, I'm a, a trainer. I compete in bodybuilding. Uh, and I uh, am the, one of the main guys here that runs this office. And then we also have uh, a joint YouTube account. Uh, Ripped Gym is the channel, R-I-P-P-E-D-J-Y-M. So we do a lot of uh, nutrition talks there, uh, wellness, and cannabis. Awesome. Awesome. So talking about wellness, talking about marijuana, <clears throat> How does that affect California now being legalized? Well, I think a lot of people are much more open to it. It's not a really a big deal if you see people smoking on the street. You can smell it nowadays, like going out to the park and like, oh, someone's smoking close by. You know, so used to, that, that used to happen a lot less often. So. Right. I think it's a lot less taboo, you know what I mean? More people are like, oh, well, it's legal. There's nothing, nothing we can really do anyways. Um, so I, I think it's, it's beneficial, it's really, less people are drinking, you know, a lot of my friends that used to uh, drink a lot, now don't drink because legally, like they don't have any medical conditions, but they'd rather recreationally uh, smoke over, you know, drinking now, one, because obviously with alcohol, depending on how much you have, you can, you know, do a lot of damage to the liver, or worse cannabis, you can't, but also secondly, you don't get those hangovers uh, um, with, with cannabis, generally speaking, now if you're doing an edible, and if you do it late at night before you go to bed, then yeah, the next day you may feel stoned, possibly, because it is long, longer acting. But if you're smoking, I know, can verify that. Uh, um, <laughs> but yeah, so it, it's just different, you know, it's much more, man. I mean, like, think about MTV. If you had, like, a, the MTV real world and they're all smoking instead of drinking, there wouldn't be fights. Like, it's just different, you know, with cannabis. It's, it's a different, to me, it's medicinal, but even recreationally, it's a, I think it's a better way to uh, socialize and relax, I would mm -hmm. say. Nice. So it's definitely changed California, and, and you'll see other states uh, over time. Although right now I heard Trump is saying let the states do its thing, and we don't want to mess with it. So if that's true, that would be awesome. That will right. bring in a lot of revenue for the states, definitely. Right. Yeah. Now, recently we've talked, um, when you are at my birthday party mm -hmm. last week, you were talking about terpenes. Yes. And we talked a little bit more about how the terpenes in marijuana, um, how that affects smoking it. Yeah, so, so this is what's really cool. You go to a collective where you get cannabis and you always say, I want an indica or sativa. What makes an indica an indica? What makes a sativa a sativa? If they're both 20%, let's say, right in the, in the tetrahydrocannabinoid, the THC part, then it's the terpenes. That, so when you sm open a bag or whatever you go into the collective, you're smelling different jars. What you're smelling are the essential oils or the terpenes, the different uh, ratios of ter individual terpenes, what creates you know, Pineapple Express, or like, what, what's the strain we had the other day? Um, blueberry. Blue, yeah, blueberry, blueberry kush. kush, blueberry kush. So those are different smells, and that's called full spectrum terpenes, and that's what creates the smell. But then when you isolate individual terpenes, you can alter the effect to make it a body high or a head high. For example, limonene would be in a lemon OG, that's a sativa, which will give you a head high, affecting more of the CB1 receptors. 
Whereas myrcene, like in mangoes, uh, would be in uh, more like indica heavy strains, and that's higher amounts in those kind of strains, and that will give you a body high, which is affecting the CB2 receptors within the endocannabinoid system. Awesome. Now, and you're also talking about cacao too. Yes. I've been, I, I specialize in cacao and oh, awesome. still continually learning about cacao. So cacao, what's interesting, also has uh, constituents in there, theobromine and a terpene called, I can never pronounce it, anandamide, how do you pronounce it? Anandamide. Anandamide, and that's a, that's a terpene that's also commonly found in cannabis plants. Uh, and so you can actually take cacao, uh, consume it before, you can also do it with coffee um, from the, uh, caffeine, but uh, they will actually help to upregulate your cannabinoid receptors getting a much more of a better high. So you can consume less in theory, I guess, if you don't want to consume as much cannabis to save money. I don't know, but yeah, it upregulates your receptors, your endocannabinoid receptors, and it's pretty cool. Um, try it out sometime, try it out sometime. Awesome, cool. Is there is there any information that y'all would like to share with, with the public about what y'all are working on or anything else and how people can find you? Yeah, so definitely check us out on Facebook. We have a private group. Um, message me on Facebook, James Vaughn, or you can message Andrew Brown, uh, Postal, or maybe just message me. But anyways, I read, he, he can redirect them to me. And I have a group, and we can tell you where we are located. Uh, we do a lot of... Uh, the, the cool thing is this is a 420-friendly atmosphere. So the other day, actually, I had a friend, and I let him know that we're going to be doing 420 yoga. Uh, and I, I think I told you that. And they're like, oh, really? Because they, they've always wanted to do yoga, but they're a stoner, and they don't feel comfortable being around people that don't smoke. And now all of a sudden, they feel much more comfortable that they would be smoking and they would be around other stoners, no more than maybe 15, I guess, you know, in the class, and they would much be much more appropriate, I guess, for them. And they're like, oh, can I bring two friends? So, you know, there's a lot of people out there that um, uh, would love to be able to do group activities, whether it's working out, maybe Tai Chi, or whatever, in, in a cannabis environment, but doesn't have a safe space to do that. And this. Uh, the Cali Remedies is a safe space for that, and uh, Maz, one of our other partners here, uh, will be facilitating that. So if anything were to happen, you freak out, whatever, you know, he's here, and you know, we got couches and stuff like that. Awesome. Yeah. So it, I think it's so cool that that James and Andrew here and Maz are are facilitating a wellness center to help people come in who are interested <coughs> and are doing marijuana, and to to bring a whole wellness aspect of it, physically, uh -huh. mentally. And are you guys expecting doing any spirituality too inside of the wellness? Maz aspect? might do that. Uh, we are looking for instructors for that kind of stuff. So if people want to do uh, meditation or chakras, type, you know, type of stuff, uh, you know, we're definitely open to that because again, it is a wellness center. You know, not just yoga, not just tai chi, not just you know hyperbaric chamber or whatever, whatever. But you know, spiritual stuff, mind, body, soul. You know, so yeah, definitely, we're always going to be. Uh, uh, expanding and that's definitely something we're looking at. Yeah, we're definitely looking for 420 friendly yoga breathing instructors, Qigong instructors. We already have one Qigong instructor and myself. So, yeah, breathing exercises, meditation exercises, we'll definitely have a lot of that. Oh, for sure, for sure. And maybe even cacao uh, a ceremony. And stuff yeah, like I don't know. But why would you have a cacao ceremony? What's that do? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, with the I cacao, hear about that. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, with the cacao ceremony, um, I like to call it a cacao gratitude ceremony. Um, people like to call cacao heart medicine. So if you're, if you're familiar with the chakras, which are y'all familiar with the chakras? Mm -hmm. I'm sure y'all are. And it's actually um, um, encouraged to actually open up the heart. Mm -hmm. So with the anandamide molecule, with the bliss molecule in the brain and releasing that, then it actually, and then combining that with gratitude, which is the healthiest human emotion, it's like, one of the healthiest food with the healthiest human emotion in a community space. Nice. Mm. It just really, it really cultivates that like heart sharing and community welcoming space so people to feel safe. Mm. Lovely, lovely. Oh, okay, cool. Man. Yeah, I'd love to do that. You always learn something fun. new, right? <laughs> I love your okay. hair. What did you think it's of the cacao? Years, <laughs> What did you think of the cacao? Now uh, that you tried it's it? bitter. It's bitter. <laughs> it's definitely bitter. It's not chocolate. You know. So something no good to it. know. It's um, not Hershey's. <laughs> <laughs> it's very so different. obviously with dark cacao, it's it's pure pure cacao bean, uh, no sugar added or anything. Very bitter, but it has a really one of the highest ORAC values for uh, an antioxidant. So is it a bean? Is it a fruit? What is it again? 
It's pod. a seed inside of a fruit. So, so, so it's a fruit. So consider it a bean, a seed. So, so pod? Seed. Is it a pod? Yeah, so seed. it's like your pod? Like a vanilla pod? It's, it's like a sunflower seed. So it's a fruit because it is a seed. Because seeds are fruits. So cacao, a right. fruit, it's has one of the highest fruit. antioxidant or values uh, on the planet next to things like resveratrol and maki berry. But cacao is awesome for that as well. So you should always include that into your diet. Mm-hmm. Not maybe at night because it has a stimulant because of like you said, it gives you energy. Oh, so it's like a caffeine, like a natural it, caffeine. It, it's a, it's a, it it, well, it's a, it's a different stimulus. So like green tea has uh, yeah. uh, caffeine, uh, 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 cacao has theobromine. Okay. Yeah. Just a different constituent, but right. same thing. They both have stimulate the CNS system. So if you want to stay up all night and you don't want to do caffeine because you don't like coffee, I guess, or okay. green tea, Cacao would be the right, way to do it. Cacao's one. Yeah. It's another yeah. option. And that's yeah. actually what I like to use cacao for when I'm at music festivals. Oh. And maybe people are like taking substances to kind of keep them up at night that perhaps I don't want to take. Cacao and just water helps me stay up and like keep the vibe up. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Cool, man. That's pretty cool. Anything else you can think of? <sighs> well, what else do you want to talk about? There's a million things to talk about. I know. There's so many things, yeah. but. Talking about marijuana, California. <laughs> well, definitely Turkey, subscribe, check cow. check out his channel, check out our channel, of course, like, do what you gotta do. Um, there's always gonna be more videos in the upcoming future to come, so this is one of many uh, videos for sure. Um, and yeah, if I think of anything else, I'll let you know. Thank you. For sure, for sure. Thank you, James. Of Appreciate course. You, man. Yes. Yeah, thanks again for having, let, let me have the birthday party Yeah, let me know, so if you want to have a birthday party. Oh, I want those. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you ever want to have a birthday, well, you're more than welcome to have it at Canada's party. You. No yeah. drinking, per se, just because, well, you know, some No, people, we're against right, that well, kind of is, shit. This is getting spread out, so we're going to end the video here. So again, Ciao! Wow! Yeah. Blessings on y'all's lives. Terpenes, cacao, marijuana in California. And Anaman. Anaman. Anandamide. Anandamide. <laughs> Anandamantium. <laughs> Don't confuse me on my terpenes. Remember to stay blessed, stay positive. Aloha. Ciao for now. And get ripped. <laughs> and get ripped.